up in the mountains on the very roof of the world. At the very edge of everlasting snow, the leaves ill bears, snow leopard. He is brave and mighty. He has no fear of jumping over any abyss, and only the strongest, brave and though people might see snow leopard. Afghans, Hahai, Konik, Panther Yunsia, White Leopard, Irvis, Ilbirs, Snow Leopard lives from Yakutia to Japan and Afghanistan, from Mongolia to Badakhshan and Tibet. Folklore of any Asian people has legends about this mountain predator species of large cats. Many peoples of the Altai still believe that their ancestor was a snow leopard, strong, brave, noble, a symbol of strength, honor and power. His legendary image is included into the coat of arms of national entities, radions, cities and sport teams. But if the leopard is frequently mentioned in the tales of people, it is very rare in the wild. According to the World Wildlife Fund, the total number of snow leopards in nature is estimated between 3 and 7,500 individuals. But this expert evolution is just indicative because of the inaccessibility of snow leopard's habitat and its secretive lifestyle. One thing is certain, the snow leopard is endangered. The World Forum on Snow Leopard Protection will issue a joint declaration on preservation of the species. The heads of environmental agencies have already met in Bishkek. Each country developed its own strategy and there was not a common strategy. Now the World Forum will develop a unified strategy. I believe with the help of entire world community we will achieve our goals for the conservation and recovery of the population of snow leopard. На всемирном форуме будет разработана единая стратегия, которая будет обобщать все эти страновые стратегии и планы. Despite the fact that the leopard is prohibited for hunting in all 12 countries of its habitat, the poaching is still a major threat. More than 90% of the animals are killed because of poaching. In the middle of the last century, a leopard skins could be exchanged for two sheep, and for the coat and hat, malahai, made of the leopard skin, you could get a horse. Today the price of a skin at the Asian market is up to $60,000. It is very difficult to maintain control over hunting in mountainous areas. But hunting is only one of the other threats to snow leopard. The general decline of the amount of other animals, mountain goats, wild sheep, wild boars and marmots plays a negative role. The depletion of the alpine fauna made the predator to change its hunting area. Now it spends more time to get food and much more often comes across people. In the former USSR, the largest population of the snow leopard was in Kyrgyzstan, and it was in Kyrgyzstan where scientists and hunters articulated their concerts. The Republic banned hunting leopards in 1958. The growing population of mountain areas, mining, development of transport and increase in livestock. All that exerts heavy pressure, adversely affecting the number of leopards. Remote mountainous regions became accessible to people, large tour groups and hunting tours with the use of aviation lead to the reduction of leopard's food supply and its habitat. Besides, hoofed animals, the main stock of leopard's food, leave their pastures when people start using the pastures for their flocks. Wild capitalism and free markets have become a heavy burden for wildlife. The lack of funding for environmental agencies almost uncontrolled hunting. Poaching, smuggling, corruption and law enforcement and judicial systems have led to the total destruction of wildlife. Such situation attracted attention to the international community and people concerned by the fate of their country. In 2013, thanks to the initiative of NL Czech Isle Council and Sir Chad Air Dash, Reserve we organized in Kyrgyzstan Environmental Festival Land of Snow Leopard. All people of Inil Czech village, bodyguards, governmental and non-governmental conservation organizations participated in the festival activities. Wildlife conservation is a system process. Since 1996, World Wild Fund have started the development of urgent measures to conserve biological diversity of our country. In 2003 and 2006, the Shame of Central Asia Environmental Network was developed and approved by the Interstate Sustainable Development Commission. With the support of our Dutch office in 2009, we started building a model of the environmental network of the Central Tianshan. 
the main components of which the current Sarchad Airtash Reserve, Han Tengri National Park, scheduled to be open, and migration corridors that link these two protected areas. The corridors pass through the honey ground and wildlife sanctuaries. <laughs> Sari Eitash State Reserve was established in 1995 on the area of 72,000 hectares. In 2012, it was expanded to more than two times. Strict ban on hunting and the high responsibility of the staff led to the increased wild goats, turkey, sheep, wild boars, and raw deer. Hares, marmots, mountain turkey, rare snowcocks, partridges, and other animals will themselves very well here. There are 2,600 wild sheep and 1,000 wild goats live in the reserve. The leopard also came back. According to the monitoring data, there are about 20 leopards in the reserve and surrounding areas. By the end of summer 2013, four leopards were noticed in only one gorge Solomon. There was a she leopard and four year old kittens. The leopards bring up the kittens of the age of two years. Leopard Conservation Reserve is held under the close monitoring of the World Wildlife Fund. Employees are provided with uniforms, equipment, means of observation and communication, camera traps. This support allows maintaining security measures and conducting scientific work. The snow leopard is not a well-studied family of big cats, and any research work is invaluable. All traces of the leopard, its markings, scrapes, droppings are carefully recorded and studied. A leopard regularly bypasses its territory along the same trails and camera traps make quite a unique shot. Surprisingly, by being reticent and cautious, the leopard is very curious. Having noticed one of the cameras, the leopard decided to investigate a new object. Fortunately, the camera survived after the meeting. To monitor hooked animals, the scientists use colors and non-traumatic trap loops. But the main tense of leopard habitat is only one side of the coin. It is very important to work with the public. It was widely believed in Tanshan that the snow leopard posed a threat to cattle. In some regions, it used to be allowed to hunt leopard whole year round. Moreover, the hunters were stimulated. In fact, leopard attacks livestock only in case of urgent need. But now the issue of the snow leopard bad or good for livestock is not relevant anymore. We must save this beautiful animal from extinction, save it for our future generations as a unique species. The foreign experience of land and animals conservation suggests that proper effect can be achieved by the group supervision with the involvement of the public. We have established a public commission to protect the snow leopard. There are five people at the commission, two hunters, two oldest respected villagers and I as a leader. We carry out spot checks of our alpine territory, tell people about the harm of poaching, why the conservation is so important. We expect that with the support of our partners we will have the national park. Regular education for local communities and border guards has been started in order to prevent poaching. In addition, in order to reduce the number of cases of hunting snow leopard, we involve people of Akshi Iraq, Anilchak and Karakolka village into conservation activities. They collect traps, for example. We also develop alternative means of income raising, support traditional crafts. Since 2013, another donor, USAID, World Wild Fund US joined our work. Since 2013, another donor, USAID, World Wildlife Fund US joined our work. We have about 20-24 leopards in the reserve. It is a kind of a nest. Further development of its population starts here. Local population is also involved. People from Anil Czech and Akshirak villages help us, and we help them too. I believe it is impossible to protect a wild snow leopard, wild sheep or goat without support of local population. It is impossible to protect even water or air. Only together with the population we are able to cope with tasks. We need support of the population and of course the government.
Только вместе с населением мы можем справиться. И тем более сейчас с поддержкой нашего правительства. Snow Leopard Conservation Strategy has been working in Russia more than 10 years. Here in Kyrgyzstan, such strategy was adopted last year. The realization of the strategy is the matter of the nearest future. Snow Leopard has the highest security category. In the International Red Book as one of the rarest animals on the Earth, Snow Leopard lives on the high rocky mountains of Central Asia. It lives at altitudes ranging from 1 to 6 thousand meters above sea level. Snow Leopard embodies the harsh but beautiful nature of high mountains and can serve as an indicator of conservation of this unique wildlife. Up in the mountains, a snow leopard lives in our mountains. <laughs>